Good morning, YouTube family and friends. Rev with Rev It Up Mustang Fanatic Productions. Mechanic Edition. Mechanic Edition. Mechanic Edition. This morning, I got a buddy of mine's special vehicle. It's a Ford F-150, the Harley Davidson model. This is a 07 Harley Davidson model F-150. It's got the um, crew cab. So that's the four doors. It has the 5.4 liter V8 in there. It had the supercharger in it, but he had it taken out uh, when he had the truck. It had some problems. They asked him if he wanted it back on. He said no, so they left it off. He wished he would have kept the supercharger on, but it doesn't have the supercharger, but this baby does sound good. But today we are working with the strut shock assembly. We're going to change that for him in the front. So we'll show you how to do this. We already got the wheels chalked in the back, so we're going to get this thing jacked up. We're going to use our 3.5 ton jack. We're going to use our 3 ton stands. And uh, we're going to need the use of our jack also to hold the weight of the wheel hub assembly. But we'll get into that in just a few minutes. Okay, so the first thing that had to come off was the center cap. And we lightly uh, placed the screwdriver with our little rag under it and pulled it out. And we got our little breaker bar to break these because I'm sure these lug nuts are down to about 150 foot pounds so I'm sitting in my chair uh, I'll show you I'm sitting in my little chair here and I'm facing this way and pulling back on it to crack the bolts so I don't hurt myself so that's the easy way to that's the easy way to do it Okay, so what I used to get the uh, wheel cap off, it's just my little uh, pry tool for your push pins or door panel tool. And I just put one of these shop towels over it, like that, and stuck it in between the middle and they pop right off real easy. And I went on ahead and broke the lug nuts on the other side. So now I can jack both the front end up get both tires in the air and we can go ahead and uh, get this wheel off and tackle that shock coil assembly okay let me show you the lift points right here under the front beam and then there's the rear half of the front um, beam support that I have my two jack stands on and uh, with these big heavy-duty trucks I don't fool around I don't even want to lift my uh, jacks up, not even one notch, because I don't trust them things uh, if they fall down. So I keep them flat like that and got the vehicle just enough off the ground where I can work with it because these are 22 inch rims. So there's no fighting with them. And you can see my jack is still here supporting, but the, the support is on most of my stands. And this got light pressure. I never trust uh hydraulics especially on heavy duty trucks even regardless if it's a little car never trust hydraulic jacks all right so those are your jacking points on this 07 harley davidson truck now we're going to get the tire off okay we're going to try to do this the easy way let's hope so so we don't end up changing uh any ride heights so we're going to take off this tie ride right here it's really rusty I better get my uh, PB blaster and put some PB blaster on that and uh, we'll PB blaster these three nuts here that's the top center of it what you see in there but there's three bolts this size three nuts this size there's one directly behind this right here that I have to get access to and that loosens that up and then we have to take this massive bolt out down here. Let me let you, you can see on the other side of that bolt, right there, that big nut. Uh, that's probably a 30 inch maybe. And that bad boy's probably torqued at about, 
old 250 foot pounds so I got my job cut out for me to get that uh, loose and uh, then we can uh, knock the coil shock assembly out this way uh, we'll turn the wheel and we'll pull it out through here where we take out the um, tie rod end and all we do is take the car the castle nut or the um, the pin out of here and then once we get the pin out we back the nut up to the top and we just bang on here uh, with a hammer and that'll loosen that up and that'll drop that down so we're not going to be taking the tie rod loose so uh, there's no need to take this bolt off to do anything like that that way the steering still be uh, in alignment and hopefully we don't have to take this off but I don't, I don't think we have to so we'll keep that alignment the way it is so we'll just take this off slide that out of the way and we'll turn the wheel as as we need it but the main thing is getting that bolt loose there so let me go find some some of my big boy tools and uh, get this thing loose okay I got my big boy tools this is a uh, inch and a one quarter uh, wrench that fits on the nut side and this is uh, I believe an inch and a quarter nut on this side and my PB blaster did work so the bolt is backing out well I just dropped my wrench but anyway uh, it is backing out so uh, that's a good thing we'll get that just about loose and then we'll get these top three loose and then we'll get this loose here so let me show you where I am with the process this was a 7 8 and we took the carter pin out and we beat on the steering knuckle here and we got that to drop down then we turned the wheel to the left and uh, these are um, four, four, 15 millimeter bolts here and uh, there's one way in the back here and I had to use this with the little bending swivel head socket to get that in the back and twist it. Now I got my 9 16 wrench, ratchet wrench, where I can easily ratchet those in the back loose. Then we're gonna get this bolt out of here and then we're gonna drop that out through this way. Pretty standard. Once we got three top bolts off, I left one bolt in until I took that big uh, inch and four sixteenths bolt out. And I pried with my screwdriver on the bottom there and she comes right out through this way. So now we're gonna get the new one and compare it, make sure everything's all right. So here's our old one on the left, the new one on the right. Uh, this right here seems a little bit thicker than what this is. So this may give me some trouble, I hope not. So far so good. We didn't have to take loose the upper control arm. Um, we slid it up in place and we got the bolts uh, loose all the way around. And then we kind of pushed this in place and I got a, a big screwdriver and popped it up until it went in place. And with the use of a five pound dead blow, banging until we get it in there and then taking my screwdriver and working it until it goes through the other end. And now we're gonna try and put our, uh, our inch and a quarter bolt back through here and get things tightened up. And that's how you put a coil strut, strut shock assembly on a 07 Harley Davidson F-150 with the 5.4 liter engine. So we got that bolt, that one and a quarter inch bolt tightened real good. We got the tie rod tightened back up good. We got the carter pin uh, in there. And you see my setup with the adjustable head, uh, half inch long extension ratchet with a 
14 millimeter on there, I believe, or, or 15, 15 millimeter. Tightening up that last stud that looks like this, which is in the back. So we just got that tightened and we are done. And so that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Rev it up, Mustang Fanatic Productions. Mechanic Edition. Mechanic Edition. We're gonna put the tire wheel back on. We're gonna get this torque to about 150 foot-pounds and uh, she'll be good to go.